You ever hit a truck tire thing? Three, four o'clock in the morning before anybody's moving around here and it's like damp. I can hear the trucks moving. And something here just, you know, you, you want to feel that again. Maybe someday, I don't know. My name's Tim Barry. I'm a self-taught artist. On the street, I was a truck driver. This is human expression. This is what I do. When I'm here, when I'm painting, I'm not in prison. I'm elsewhere. I grew up in uh, suburban Boston, Charlestown. My dad tried to get the family out of there. He was a truck driver. I've been in this prison since 1997. I've been painting since 1998. When I first came here, I heard about the uh, program they have here. I was already doing woodwork. But they give you what you're going to build. And after a while, I get tired of building bookcases. There was just something about painting. I wanted to paint. That's all the, I, I can't explain it, you know? My name is Rodney Roy. I'm the director of recreation. Uh, I've been uh, here at the prison for just over 23 years. Uh, hobby craft basically is an outlet for the inmates to come up in, on the recreation time and create some things so that they can uh, make some money, supplement their income, and, and learn a craft. Uh, my name's Eric Grant. I'm serving a 27 life sentence second-degree murder. I've been a hobby craft member for 22 years. You have to be disciplinary free. You go onto a waiting list. It teaches a lot of rehabilitative skills where an inmate has to buy their own materials, take those materials, turn it into a product, then sell it at Grevia Furniture, get some of the money back, and then buy more to continue. Corrections Creations, or the old uh, hobby craft, gives people an opportunity to get out of the usual prison mold and come into an area where they can feel safe and where they can create. It also keeps the people within the rules of the institution, because if you break the rules, you're out of here. People here have a chance to do something with their life, to make a change. That's what is good about this place. There's an opportunity. I paint a lot of birds. Birds can go wherever they want, whenever they want. We don't have any chickadees in a prison here. You know, we got pigeons, we got uh, house sparrows, we got starlings. It's gonna be a chickadee. I remember what chickadees look like. This one comes out of my mind. This is a covered bridge. This is actually in Vermont. 
and this is all done with pallet knife so it's it's not exacting but it's the kind of thing the further away you get I guess the better it looks this one Lady Liberty means so much to me because I mean, freedom, liberty, you know what it's worth when you're in here, okay? <laughs> I went to a vocational high school. I wanted to go into the carpentry shop, but I got put in a metal fabrication shop. Uh, I became a, a member of the uh, Sheet Metal Workers Union out of Boston. After a, a day and night of uh, drinking, uh, a terrible event happened, and uh, that led to my incarceration for a long period of my life. I can't take back what my mistakes were, but I, I, I try and learn and correct and show others that everybody has the right to be in an abusive-free relationship. Furniture has become second nature to me. I've slowly um, been purchasing some uh, small machinery, and I'm going to take these with me upon release. It's my hope to open a shop, uh, either to do it as a hobby or do it full time. First thing I'm going to do when I get out, I'm going to the truck stop. And I'm going to walk around the trucks and feel them, listen to the engines running, smell the diesel exhaust, and the trucks start to serve all day breakfast, okay? And I'm going to go in there and I'm going to eat a huge breakfast. I'll take a long walk in a straight line and listen to the birds, listen to the woods. Because in here, you got to take walks in a very short circle. I can remember being in the woods during the winter when it was snowing and being able to hear the snow coming down through the trees, total silence. In here, there's always some kind of noise, always. Even if it's just the air exchange system, you can always hear something. I'm gonna get out there where there's no sound. That is absolute peace. And one of my favorite quotes is uh, Arthur Schopenhauer. And in one of his essays he wrote that to an artist it doesn't matter if the sunrise is viewed from a palace or a prison. When I go out in the morning, do my routine, I can see the sunrise, I can see the colors up over the walls. And I envision those colors behind a clipper ship or behind a mountain. And I come up here and that's what I do.